Hey guys, it's time for another review. And today's review will be for... We Play. This entire time I'm probably going to be comparing it to Wii viewers review of this. Because I actually think this game is well worth the money. Now if you don't know, this game is this game is for sale for fifty dollars. And considering the fact that you're only getting that you're only getting ten mini games, you may say that doesn't sound worth it. But um the point of and Nintendo realized that, so that's why it comes with a second Wii remote. All these mini games are two player co op and that's why so if a, if a Wii Remote by itself is four is forty dollars, this is fifty dollars, so you should definitely pay the extra ten dollars and get it and get a video game which consists of ten mini games. Okay, so I'll and didn't we we viewer didn't like any of them and I like them all. Okay, shooting ranch. Basically it is duck hunt. But I don't think it's a crappier version. I think it I think it really each one of these mini games is designed to teach you a certain skill with the Wii Remote. And shooting ranches, it, and shooting ranches to get used to the point and shoot mechanism of the Wii Remote. Because that's being used a lot in, in shooter games for the Wii. Find Me doesn't really... Find Me is... It, it, it is like Where's Water... Where's Waddle... Where's Waldo, but I really do like Where's Wal... Where's Waldo. Don't know why I can't say it right now. So, but it doesn't really teach you a skill. This one teaches you fast reactions with the Wii Remote as you move the um, as you move the paddle ball left and right to hit the ball. This one teaches this one is all about twisting the Wii Remote to fit a certain shape. This one's like a really cool version of Pong. It involves more twisting and swinging of the Wii Remote. This one makes you practice the thrusting forward and backward of the Wii Remote. Fishing is the lifting up and down. Um the cow one is you hold the Wii Remote sideways. It lets you practice the steering mechanism. This one lets you practice using the nunchuck, I guess. So I'm just going to go into a bit of all of them. Oh, and the tenth one is, yeah, Wii viewer said he created this game. I dealt that. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone's played that mini game at a time. You can poke your... You can make your me do a bunch of weird actions by pointing at him. And if you po point at his stomach, it's like he got a punch in the stomach. And if you point at at his crotch, it's like he just got punched in the balls. I don't know. We have your account that as mini game, so I thought I had to do. So let's go into shooting range. So the next bit of things are, um, like, there's one where you're shooting cans, and then there's an alien one, I think. Find me, you're simply finding, it tells you to find a certain me, and all, that's all you have to do. But it gets really hard once you get later. Like, it says your record down here. So you can see my record for each one. Let's do this. Table tennis. So that one's all about having steady, a steady hand and fast reactions. As you saw, it starts out really slow, but it gets fast. Now, pose me. This is my least favorite, 
but it, it's all about twisting the Wii remote, so that's kind of a useful skill. So you have to select a pose and you have to twist the Wii remote to get your me to fit that pose. Sorry. Laser hockey. There's a cheat code for that you can use to make this harder. Press both the A and the B button and it gives you this round paddle. And it just makes everything really harder. Okay, so let's quit. This is all about thrusting forward and back of the Wii Remote. So it's simply playing billards. This one's all about moving in a round and like to like once you play it, it will all make sense. So it's exactly like, you know, Animal Crossing, you put the lure in the water, you gotta wait for the fish to bite, you pull it up. Charge. So that one's simply just to get used to the um, uh, steering. Now tanks. This one gets you used to the nunchuck. The way the controls work with this is you move with the nunchuck, A button to plant one of these, B button to fire. So it's a really good thing. It's a really cool game. They, they could have made this into a real game. But instead they made it a mini game. Kinda sad actually. As you can see your bullets can bounce off walls. It's pretty fun. <laughs> so to finish up this review. Like if you're looking for another Wii remote. It's definitely worth throwing in the extra $10 and getting this batch of minigames. Buy it now.